Hi, New Girl 2019 here with my first unboxing video. In this channel, we will be discussing everything related to lighting, nutrients, plant biology, soil, and growing in general. So please like and subscribe to see more. Today's video is about a very interesting topic. I will be unboxing the Top 2 1000W Girl Light from Amazon. It is a 105 watt blurple LED light with added white and infrared diodes. Priced at only $55. That comes out to only 50 cents per watt, which is an incredible value. A link to the Tatu 1000W on Amazon is in the description. With other full spectrum LED lights costing double or triple the price per watt, this light is a great choice for any grower on a budget. So what's up with blurple lighting in 2020? Full spectrum lights have taken the market by storm, but they cost double or triple the price per watt with only a 5% increase in yield. The main benefit of the Tatu 1000W is the incredible value that you get for the price. 105 watts for only $55 is an incredible price. Filling up a 4x4 with the Tatu 1000W can save you anywhere from three to $900 over other full spectrum lights on Amazon. So. Without further ado, let's get this box open. On first impressions, the box is both smaller and lighter than I thought it would be. This is a good thing. You want to be able to fit as many of these lights in your space as possible, and you don't want to have trouble hanging it. A lighter light is easier to hang. So let's get it open. First things first, it comes with rope brackets. These seem to be the higher quality rope brackets, so I'm glad they included these. Metal clips also seem to be the high quality ones. Electrical plug, plug it in. Temperature and humidity gauge. I'm really impressed that they added the temperature and humidity gauge in this light, considering it's already such a great value at only $55 for 105 watts. To have this be included as well is a great bonus. I think every grower should have these, if not multiple of these, you can never have enough. Now, finally, the light. Let's see, it comes with good packaging. Make sure it doesn't get harmed in shipping. Here's the light. Wow. It's like a lot smaller than I thought it would be. I'm very impressed. And a lot lighter as well. Here it is from all angles. See, next to my face. Very small. There's the fans. This side, back side, and then you can see over here are the dual switches for veg and bloom. So looking at the back of the light, you can see it is a dual fan design. These fans will help push the hot air that's generated by the light up towards your ventilation system for it to be exhausted out of your tent, which is very important. Next we'll talk about the veg and bloom switches. Using these correctly are how you're going to gain the most out of this light. The Tatu 1000W's blue veg lights have been found to be better than full spectrum lights in seedling, cloning, and the first two weeks of veg. Conversely, the Tatu 1000W's bloom light is found to be better than full spectrum in the last two weeks of flower. Any other time during the growth cycle, as long as you have the required wattage for your tent, 
you should be using both switches to gain a full spectrum and to increase the total light output. Between the Tatu 1000W and full spectrum LED lights, the difference between the plants ground is going to be extremely minimal, at most 5% more in yield. That's nowhere near enough to justify it being double or triple the price for a full spectrum LED. I knew I would get a better return on yield if I spent the money elsewhere in my setup. For all new growers starting a new hobby, I feel they would be the same. For example, let's say you only have $700 to set up a 3x3. You would need 300 watts of LED lights to set up a 3x3 optimally. Going with full spectrum lights, like Spider Farms on Amazon, for example, you would need a Spider Farm SF1000 and a Spider Farm SF2000 to equal 300 watts. The total cost is $460. If you bought three of these Tattoo 1000Ws, you would get 315 watts, and it only cost $165. So the choice is a no brainer. At $460, you only have enough left over with a $700 budget to get your inline exhaust fan and maybe your carbon filter. You still haven't gotten your tent, your soil, your pots, your seeds, your nutrients, pH up and down, protective glasses. There's so many things that you need in order to do a grow correctly. With $165 into a $700 budget, you have plenty left over to get everything that you need to start a 3x3 grow. Let me give another example. Let's say you're in a 2x2 two two and you have everything you need to start growing. You just need lights. Let's say your budget is $110. You could go with a full spectrum LED light on Amazon and get 100 watts. Or you could go with two top two 1000Ws at $110 and get 210 watts. The tent with the top two 1000Ws in it will grow double the amount of crop that the full spectrum 100 watt light LED is costing the same. So taking all of this into account, I rate the Tattoo 1000W 5 stars based on its value alone. Right now, blurple light prices are going down like crazy and full spectrum light prices are going up. Spider Farms recently increased their price of a 100 watt light from $130 to $160. You could buy three top two 1000Ws for that and get 315 watts. Taking all of this into account, coming with the top two 1000W for your next grow setup is an obvious choice. If you like this review, please like and subscribe for more videos. I will be doing an in-depth setup and usage video of the top two 1000W being used for seedlings, cloning, and veg, and I will be directly comparing them to a Spider Farms SF1000. So stay tuned to see the results.